Persona 5 Strikers is the closest thing to a Persona 5-2 we will ever get, and though the Koei Tecmo co-developed follow-up gets rid of the turn-based battles of the acclaimed original RPG for something more akin to the Dynasty Warriors series, my experience with the opening hours of Strikers promises a worthy follow-up for the Phantom Thieves of Hearts. It's one that retains all the style, character, and deep lore of the original that has this returning fan thrilled to see more adventures of Joker, Morgana, and the entire gang, even as I grapple with just how many new options the real-time action throws your way right from the start. As a returning fan, so much of the thrill of Strikers is getting to experience an all new story with the returning cast, so rather than focus on the story beats of the opening six hours or so I played in Shibuya, I'll limit myself to saying P5S hits the ground running. Rather than offer much recap, Strikers wonderfully lets the entire main cast hang out and battle together right from the jump, and it's a joy to see all these personalities intersect, alongside newcomers like the mysterious Sophie and the detective Zenkichi. But other than that, don't expect to hear too much more about the story from me. Much like Persona 5, some of the series' greatest joys are meant to be discovered on your own, and I would never steal that as easily as the Phantom Thieves steal hearts. Instead, the most obvious change I want to talk about is the shift to a more Musou-style real-time battle system as opposed to the acclaimed turn-based RPG stylings of Persona 5. <laughs> Coming much more from the Persona side than from the Dynasty Warrior side of this unlikely marriage, Strikers most immediately impressed me by how well it translates the tenets of P5's battle system into a different form and remains so fun and engaging. This is in part due to Strikers' combat not being completely real-time. Sure, you're running around a battlefield hitting enemies with basic, special, and ranged gun attacks, but this is still a Persona game, and at any point you can summon your chosen character's Persona to use their abilities mid-battle. Doing so pauses the chaos temporarily, allowing you to swing your character around without moving from that spot, choose your target area and skill, and unleash your attacks at will. That simple ability to pause battle and use your powerful moves that also drain your SP bar is so well implemented because these elemental based attacks are often the key to winning a battle when used well but the action never penalizes you for stopping to take a moment to think. And Strikers, at large, is quite forgiving. While you can bring in various items into battle to heal, refill your SP, or nullify status effects, I often found myself running out of SP quite quickly. Strikers does run on a calendar system similar to Persona 5, but it moves forward in time based on story beats rather than your actions. So you can hop out of Strikers' jails, a new twist on P5's palace dungeons, back into the real world to refill your stamina and health, and again into the metaverse without precious time elapsing. That's especially helpful because while Striker's general battles are relatively easy, the mid and end boss battles are surprisingly squishy with plenty of health and defenses that require a ton of SP powered attacks to break through and ensure victory. I certainly enjoyed those larger scale battles, but don't expect to simply button mash your way through them. And even if you want to button mash through standard battles, Striker's throws in different special attacks for each character that can help turn the tide of those battles, as well as ambushes, environmental attacks using objects around you, all out attacks, showtime moves, and more. There's a lot, and it's all present largely at the start. I love discovering how each aspect worked and how best to use them in battle, but I totally admit that even after six or seven hours of playing, I was still wondering if I was using every move in my arsenal to the best of my ability, or if I was just missing something. Luckily, that worry aside didn't prevent me from exploring every nook and cranny of the first Jail Strikers offers and makes me eagerly excited to jump into the next. Persona 5 Strikers smartly melds a lot of the systems, characters, and sheer style of Persona 5 onto a new mechanical template, but doesn't lose out on any of the charm and delight inherent in the original. Strikers may not have been the Persona 5 sequel I expected, but it's certainly one I can't wait to keep playing. Until next time, farewell. For more on Persona, be sure to check out the latest Persona 5 Strikers trailer, and be sure to check out our original Persona 5 review. And of course, for everything else Persona, you're already in the right place, IGN.